So today I'm going to do something a little different. Uh, I was trying to record a comparison between Bell Cam's classic match, Black Bottle, which is their version of Jacar Noir, and Jacar Noir. And I did this because I had read some reports that the classic match, the $8 bottle, actually reminded them a lot more of the vintage than the current formulation. So I began the experiment by squirting one, you know, Jacar Noir on this one, Bell Cam on this one. But I decided that it had been a little rushed because I wanted to see what the reformulation of Tricar Noir smelled like. So, of course, Tricar Noir is a fragrance from uh, Guy LaRouche back from the early 80s. And it was kind of the fragrance for men at the time. That and Polo was, at least in my family, were kind of the big modern fragrances that people were wearing at the time. And I love it. I love the smell of it. I like being around people who were wearing it. It had a very masculine, very manly, very um, ostentatious feel to it. It demanded respect. It demanded attention whenever you wore it. So whenever someone is in the room who was wearing it, you notice them until, of course, everyone is wearing it. And then the whole room smelled of it. I remember it as being a very strong, uh, very forward fragrance. And I had heard that the reformulation had dialed that back, so I tried some all by itself. And I think that I like the reformulation better. Now, I, I say that with some hesitation because it's kind of a shame that they've changed it. It's kind of a shame that they've dialed it back, but for me, who has always loved smelling Jacquard Noir, but never really liked wearing Jacquard Noir because it was so powerful. The reformulation dialed that back some. It still lasts a long time. I wore it and I was still smelling it on myself after 12 hours. But I really didn't enjoy it until about the seventh, eighth hour because that's when it kind of dialed back and then mellowed out to a place where I was kind of digging it before that. It was just a little bit heavy for me, even then, even in the reformulation. I think it has to do with something with a very forward uh, cardamom note. And uh, something about that note I just don't particularly care for. I mean, I, I like smelling it, but I don't, don't like smelling it all day. Once I had finished that experiment and noticing that it did last pretty long and that it was fairly strong, uh, now I'm going to compare that to the bell cam. Even stating that the reformulation is fairly strong and has that strong cardamom note. Classic match is still stronger. It's more pungent, it's a little sharper, and if you ask me how I remember Jacquard Noir, this does seem closer to the memory. Uh, it grabs your attention a lot more than the current formulation, which seems a little bit more sedate one might say more refined, but this this hits the memory notes a little stronger than the, the current formulation. It lasts maybe a little less than the current formulation, which is like 10 hours, so I have nothing to complain about. And, and it is stronger in, in projection than the current formulation. Again, some of the notes are sharper. So um, I would give the reformulated version three out of five, uh, meaning that if I bought it, I might wear it once a month. It's not really good, would be a favorite of mine, but I appreciate it for what it is. Uh, it really is a work of art. It really is a piece of history, even though it's essentially alcohol and fragrance. Right? But uh, I would give this a two and a half out of five, simply because for me, it's a little too strong. It's a little too potent. Uh, I'm curious though for you, a gentleman who really loved Jacquard Noir, what do you think of the classic match clone? Do you think it reminds you more of what Jacquard Noir was back in the 80s and 90s? Or do you find it to be kind of a cheap remake? A little too harsh, a little too sharp? Please post 
uh, your experiences down in the comments. I think it would be really helpful to anyone who's interested in trying out the clone because it's, you know, times are tough. People need to save money where they can. And I don't fault people for, for trying to match what their favorite fragrances inexpensively. So if you could let us know what your experiences are so people would have a better uh, comparison, I think that would really help everyone who watches the channel. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for supporting the channel. Please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell if you like the content. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you.